Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu I am welcoming you all to series 5 of Dead End to Delight May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the task for us The Ramadan is going to an end We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to please elongate our life And preserve us and accept all our acts of worship in it Brothers and sisters, the series 5 inshallah would be speaking about motivating lazy child This is another true life story of one of our mothers in Islam Who actually sent a message to me That Sheikh... I am so much in a serious state of dilemma for the laziness of my child. Brothers and sisters, come with me to read to you all exactly what she had sent to me. Shaykh, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. May Allah preserve you more for the benefit of the world. Amin. She has just prayed for me. She addressed a letter with prayer. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept the prayer she made for me. Amin. Sir, my child has brought me into a serious state of dilemma. I pay the school fee and grant him enough money for upkeeping, but his performance is just poor. His teachers complain a lot about his poor performance, subhanallah. In fact, his dad has just told me he will put an end to payment of his school fee, subhanallah. He puts much blame on me as the mother and he has become so angry with me and my child at home. Please, Sheikh, I need you to help me. I can't think straightforward. I'm dreaming in darkness. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala please grant you uh, a sister a comfort and the uh, uh, grant you delight from this day to end brothers and sisters inshallah addressing this topic we would firstly be speaking about why do we have to train our child brothers and sisters fathers and mothers across the globe i want you to understand the first fact which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in surah al-kaf chapter 19 of the holy quran allah says allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wealth which is money and children are allurement of these word brothers and sisters when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned something or uh, something that could make us appear later in the future as honored as to be respected we would know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he wants us to smile at the end of the day so this is the reason we have to train our child in order for our child to serve as a dormant for us when it comes to the end of time in our life brothers and sisters let's not forget as well that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned something important about children again you know he has only mentioned the positive effect of child likewise the quran tells us about the negative effect of child where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says allah says indeed your wealth and your children fitna they are problems subhanallah this is where we have to think deeply our mother and fathers across the globe for you to make your children to be a woman or you want it to be problem for you at the end of the day it is of your choice whatever you choose is what you are going to have so fathers and mothers across the globe when we tell us the reason we have to train our child it is either for us to smile later in the future or for us to cry to shed tears in the future subhanallah we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to please put smile on our faces amen now brothers and sisters telling us why train the child i want you to understand the first fact that as children get older like the mother complained about the state of our child that he has become so lazy that the father which is which is the husband has been become angry 
with her in the home and with the child subhanallah i want you that whenever you want to change the state of your child from being lazy to someone who is so motivated mother i want you to understand that as children get older in life more responsibilities are poor are placed on them in uh, the, the part of their responsibilities is to do what they have to do at the right time you know a child who was two years three years four years you know things you assist him or her to do now he has become older you know those things you help him or are doing you are going to limit them for instance perhaps you were the one who feeds him before you were the one who clean up for him before now he has become older you need to drop those things for him in order for him to take good care of himself and in order for you to let him know that you are only to assist him you have only showed him the way the next thing now is that he should start cleaning himself purifying himself brothers and sisters these are part of assignment that should that are placed on our children when they are now becoming old and i want you to know that when the time the, the things we do for them before they are not get used to it doing it by themselves because as it is it is going to serve as a new life to them you know everything changes subhanallah brothers and sisters fathers and mothers across the globe you know uh, the result we should expect is they should at first feel discouraged like after all i'm not the one using my hand to feed myself earlier now he has to start doing that himself you know it's going to 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 to, to, to be felt hard and so difficult so fathers and mothers some students or i say some children they need us to get closer to them they need us to get them motivated they need us to get them encouraged they need us to support them in order for them to develop some attitudes they do not have in themselves before fathers and mothers across the globe like you the mother mentioned about the state of a child that he is so lazy in order for you to achieve delight you have to keep on training him assisting him you have to let him know that he has to strive he has to struggle so these are ways that will enable you to smile at the end of the day fathers and mothers like you have talked to me sheikh assist me i am try i am telling the world teaching you about the true life story of the child of a mother so that if your child is also in the same state you can from here tap lessons and you from there you transform uh his sinister life into better life i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to please be with every one of us inshallah i will deliberately speak more on how to get our children motivated as well the roles of parents in the next episode under this series mean allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the task for every one of us amen يا ايها 